Counting down now to first pitch in South Florida. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. From the newest ballpark on the Major League landscape, there's a look inside Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, the second of four between the San Diego Padres and the Miami Marlins. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to another edition of Baseball on the Show. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, let's take a moment to look at our two starters here tonight. Yeah, and as you check in on the numbers on these guys, two guys with pretty good stuff. And they're going to have to mix all their pitches in at some point because you've got a couple of clubs that like to swing the bat. So keeping guys off balance is going to be key. guys will have much more to talk about as the night progresses but first let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting San Diego Padres as their manager Bud Black will align his order like this they'll match up against the fellow you see right here the veteran right-hander Henderson Alvarez Will Venable makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. And a cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. Yeah, you know, first time through, he likes to start guys off with a fastball. And it's a good one, too. You know, he'll run it up there in the mid-90s. And this is fouled back and out of play. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's called a ball one and two. Temperature reading an even 80 degrees at first pitch tonight. The pitch. Nice change up that time gets him to swing right through it as the leadoff man is down on strikes to open up the ball game. So the leadoff man set down here in game one. And with that, let's give you a look at the Miami D. It's brought to us by Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Chris Denorfia will get his first cuts here. Chris Denorfia. fouled back that's over but low it's a ball and a strike Line to left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Here's the numbers from his last start, and he's pretty lucky to get that no decision. You look at the numbers, he didn't get out of the fifth. He's going to have to be better here. 
Cody Ransom will dig in for the first time here, looking to change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average dip these last four or so games. Now the first pitch. And here is strike one call to the 37-year-old veteran up there. Nothing in one. Well, the Marlins, of course, decked out in their new home whites with the orange trim. I call that an improvement over the old ones. Another fastball, another cold strike, nothing in two now. Now 0-2, oh you got to be wary of that changeup. This is where he likes to throw it, and it doesn't always have to be a strike. Here's the pitch. And an off-speed pitch, swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. A look there at the starting lineup for the host Marlins. And there you get a look at the starting pitcher whose job it'll be to keep these guys in check. His number's right there on the right side of your screen. Defensively, the Padres alignment will look like this. Juan Pierre will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground to short. And Gonzalez throws on to first for the out. Donovan Solano will stand in for the first time now, looking to keep that hot streak going as he's been hitting the ball well these past six ball games. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. And that release point I mentioned a minute ago still hasn't really shown up yet. I tell you though, you do not want to give these guys too many 2 0 or 3 1 counts. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball.
And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Now here's a swing and another chance out there at short. Throw gets him, two down. Giancarlo Stanton will get his first opportunity here, currently leading the league in two of the three Triple Crown categories. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now the pitch. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. It goes the other way with a fastball. He drives it out to deep right center field. And that is over the wall. Home run. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. 32 now for the season as the Marlins will take a 1-0 lead. I think you could pretty safely put a stamp on his ticket to City Field this July. He continues to be amongst the league leaders in home runs, and he adds one more to the total here. Justin Ruggiano will stand in hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. Good bike to the slider, and he takes strike one. They're putting that last home run at 419 feet officially. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Now pitch on the way. Outside, two and one. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. And the fastball is lined into center field. That's a base hit. And this is something they've worked on in the batting cage, taking some of the movement out of his swing. Much more compact now, and he's seeing some definite results. Lance Berkman will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. Here's the first offering. Grounded foul. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one.
Runner goes for second. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory now toward the third base dugout. Ransom will put this one away and the side is retired. Marlins are on the board first thanks to the solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 1-0 Miami. Carlos Quinton will stand in for the first time now, and he's got that average up over the 300 mark to begin play. Now here's the pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Uh, I, I think if you gave him another chance, he'd be swinging at that one. That was a great pitch to hit. Now a slider in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. The 2 2 coming. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. Throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second. And you know, against a lot of second basemen, this is going to be an infield single. But watch how he fields this thing and then maneuvers his body into a good throwing motion and unloads it quickly to get his man. And this will bring in a former World Series hero here in South Florida, Alex Gonzalez. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. He's found a pretty nice rhythm out here early on. And this is pulled hard, but foul. Hope they brought their gloves for that one out there. change up and he ain't buying it one and two and he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away
Uh, you know, this is one of those cases where you have to know who your runner is out there. I mean, this is not exactly Ichiro busting down the line. He's got plenty of time to make this play, but he fires wildly, and they're going to hit him with an error. Mark Katze will get his first shot at it here. A fairly generous strike call there on a pitch that looked off the plate at strike one. Oh, he's he's got a legitimate gripe right there. I don't know about that one. Now a look and a throw he's back to second. And a dive, but he's back. Oh, one pitch is a high chopper over to the right side. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. There's nothing easy about this play right here. It's a high chopper, so he knows he's going to have to field and throw pretty much all in one motion, and he does so here to get his man. That's a nice play. Nick Hundley will stand in now. He homered in the ball game last night. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2-0 now. Very tempting up there, but that's also a pitch that a lot of guys will pop up. So that's a nice job of laying off. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. Ruggiano is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out of potential trouble. Padres leave one. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Scott Rowland will stand in for the first time now, coming off a three hit contest in the loss last night. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. And Roldman won't offer it that one as the count moves to two and two now. Oh. 
Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. That's just the old high hard one right there, up and out of the zone. You know, those always seem to look good coming right in there at eye level, but it's so hard to get on top of. Matt Downs will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. Now the first pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through for a base hit. Yeah, this might have caught a little too much of the inside part of the plate. I think he wants us in a little tighter, but didn't get it in all the way. And it winds up costing him. Jeff Mathis will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. Here we go. Inside corner here, but maybe a fraction too far inside, apparently. It's ball one. Well, I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. You know, that's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. That one's a called strike, back even at one. He's ready, now the pitch. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch, and they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Runners on first with one down. Now a ball hit sharply down the line at third, and this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And they're not going to get him at third. So runners at second and third now with only one gone. And you can see where the third baseman is here. He's up in double play depth, as he should be. But if he's playing back with the bases empty, he maybe has a shot at this ball. As it is, though, it's a double to put runners at second and third. Henderson Alvarez will step in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to pad this lead a bit early on. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup, nothing in one. But Black wondering how his guys are going to get out of this one. Pause, now the pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike two. Oh, and he had a pitch to hit right there, and don't think he doesn't know it. He may not get a better one the rest of the night. Too high. One and two. And even on one and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking at it got to put this ball in play.
second and third here, one man out. Low for a ball as he battles back from down 0-2 to even it up at two balls and two strikes now. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Swing and a ball lifted in the air to straightaway right. Venable is there. Let's see if they test it. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2-0 game. Juan Pierre will dig in again. He grounded out to start the home first. Now here's the first pitch. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. This is hit sharply to the left side. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. But now the pitching coach is going to come in and have a word with him. And in the second inning, but once he makes sure he's okay physically, he'll be saying, hey, look, let's put all that's just happened behind us and focus on the task at hand. Donovan Solano will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Check on Pierre, now the pitch. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Two out with the man at first. Let's go! There goes Pierre. Mitch misses low. The throw down. Too late, and it's a stolen base for Juan Pierre. And I think everybody in the ballpark knew that he was going to be running with two away. But even when you know it's coming, he's still hard to get a handle on. And he's in the scoring position now with that stolen base. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Pierre leads from second, now the pitch. And that misses, ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Well, when you're already in a deep hole, the last thing you want to do is keep digging. But the walk here is only going to make things worse. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in again. He homered his first time around. And that misses inside, 1-0. and oh. Pitch is piling up, 44, and he's not clear of the second yet. Getting a few steps off a second there, now the pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul.
Down low, two balls and a strike. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did, it's ruled a strike. Three and two now. And I'll tell you, this is an inning that you really don't want to continue any further. So this next pitch really needs to be a strike. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And a big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Marlins on top, three to nothing. Logan Forsythe is ready to go here as we begin the third. Logan Forsythe. Here's the first offering. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. And he takes this one high, one and one. Down the line, but this will oh, kick foul. Oh, no. Now the pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. One away here to begin the third. Yeah, that's just a good pitch right there. That's a two-seam fastball working its way back inside, and he's probably fortunate he didn't break his bat. He winds up getting this one right down there on the label, and he's retired. Corey Lubke will be the batter. Petra. Corey Lubke. Look out. Oh, that ran in and got him. And intentional or not, you do not want to be hitting pitchers out there. Well, that's going to bring some folks up to the top steps of the dugout. Anytime you hit the opposing pitcher, whether it's unintentional or not, you're setting yourself up for some possible fireworks down the road. Will Venable will dig in for a second time, a strikeout victim opening up the ball game. Lined hard to center field. Ruggiano is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Well, they've been a little unlucky so far because they're putting the ball in play, and they've hit a few of those balls really hard, but they're just not falling for them right now. Chris DeNorfio will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. Right. 
Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. One one pitch is in the air now out to left field. And Pierre will tuck this one away and the inning is over. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Marlins lead it three to nothing. Justin Ruggiano will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Ball one. Swing and a line drive to left. But coming on quickly is the left fielder to make the play for the first out. Well, that one looked like for all the world, it was a sure single leading off the inning. It was certainly hit hard enough, but evidently it was hit a little too hard as it winds up getting flagged down, and that's just a tough break. Lance Berkman will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. And here's the first pitch. Right down Broadway that time, strike one. And even though that is a strike, it's okay. These guys have been really patient at the plate. They've had a good game plan up there, and it's worked out for them so far. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Look out as that one ran in and got him. I don't think this partisan crowd is going to like that too much. One thing you don't want to do as an opposing pitcher, well, two things actually. One, you don't want to get the crowd involved early, and two, you don't want to set yourself up for a possible big inning. Now, both of those things have come true. So a runner on first with one out now, and that'll bring in the slugging third baseman, Scott Rowland. Uh, got him to swing on top of that one as this ball's dribbled out in front of the mound. In time to first, and there are two away. Yeah, and the only silver lining to this offensively is that you get that guy up to second base, and now he's in scoring position with two outs. But I would doubt seriously that that was his intention. Matt Downs will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. First pitch on the way. Called a strike on the outer half, 0-1. Probably his best located pitch so far. Right on the outside corner, and that's the spot he's going to need to start finding. And this is low, but it's roped in quickly, and that runner will hold at second base. Yeah. 
Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Good location on the outside corner there. One and two. And this will be fouled away. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Good biting slider there, hit on the ground down to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One left for Miami, but they lead it 3-0. Cody Ransom will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Ransom. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. Got himself a 2-0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2-1. and one. Yeah, kind of a late decision to swing there. Even if he hits that thing, that might just be a routine fly to right. Ready with the 2-1. Oh, right down Main Street with that one, two and two. Now here's a swing and a ball hit out for Ruggiano in center field. And he's got it for out number one. Carlos Quinton will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch here is a slider, but that's taken up and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Pitch on the way. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Foul back. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Just does stay alive as this is foul back.
Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one.
Donovan Solano is at the plate as he looks at ball one. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And another hard hit ball off of him right there. And that's not the first one he's allowed so far. As you take a look at his line, not too much to write home about right there. This has not been one of his better performances at all. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning and set to stand in the ultra dangerous Giancarlo Stanton. Runners off for second. A pitch out. The throw. And they'll nail him at second on a brilliant call to pitch out. And the inning is over. Marlins get one here on a couple of hits. On to the top of inning number five we go. Miami's out in front. Four to nothing. Mark Katze will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. First pitch coming. Now a hard liner toward short. In there, a base hit. Maybe these guys are going to start getting a little more aggressive here early in the count. This is the first pitch of the inning, and he's on base here to kick things off. Nick Hundley will try it again. He flew out his first time. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch here is popped a mile high into the air. This is way up there, but playable on the infield. Downs retreats to the outfield grass, and he has it for round number one. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Logan Forsythe will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First offering on the way. Now pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. Go Miami. And this is taken for a ball low. Pretty close there, but it's one and one. No complaint about that one. That's a strike, and it's one and two. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Solano for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Padres go down quietly. They trail here four to nothing. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Well, this start's been a real bear for him so far. You see the pitch count here to start the fifth. That has to be a concern.
And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Yeah, a little surprising he didn't offer it that one. That was a dangerous spot for a good fastball hitter. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Throw on to first in time, one away. Justin Ruggiano will step in. One for two in the ballgame. And a high strike there, 0-1. One out, nobody on. The pitch. Swung on and missed there by Ruggiano, and it's 0-2 now. And this is how he's just going to mess with your mind up there. You wind up taking the pitches that are in the strike zone, and then you chase after the ones that are nowhere close. You know what? That is good pitching. Take something off, but it's 1-2 and two now. Swing and he shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Lance Berkman will get another shot hit by a pitch his last time. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Fastball, then this one runs in on him as he has to dance out of danger there. And now with that pitch count getting up there just a little bit, you can see that some of these pitches are missing just a little farther away than they were earlier. Fastball bounces up to the plate and it's taken for a ball. swing and oh boy ground balls have ruled the inning a third straight right here now here comes Bud Black up out of the Friars dugout on his way to the mound and we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight so he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds and he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Jason Marquis is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Scott Rowland will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Here's the first offering. Now a slider and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. And that misses one and one. A runner on first with two away. And he 
gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Marlins leave one. They lead it four to nothing. Jesus Guzman will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one. And he might have been on the on deck circle just saying, man, I get one at bat and it's against this guy? Thanks a lot. And this is fouled back and out of play. Well, Not a bad the pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. Three. And he takes strike three called, and that didn't go according to plan as the pinch hitter is set down for the first out. And sometimes this is all you have to do. Throw a ton of strikes and keep the ball in the yard. It's worked for him so far. Will Venable will dig in now. He's struck out and lined out in his first two at-bats. Let's go! Shut him down! And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Throw to Berkman will be in time for out number two. And a lot of times you, you might say, ah, you know, four run lead, we'll make that up. But I tell you, the way he's throwing the ball right now, they might be fortunate just to get one run off him. Chris DeNorfia will dig in now. He's lined out and flied out in two trips. Now the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Now a swing and a ground ball out to Roland at third base. Throw to Berkman will take care of him, and with that, the side is retired. Three up, three down for San Diego. They're down 4 nothing. Dale Thayer will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Matt Down will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Here it comes. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. 
Action now in the Padre bullpen as it looks like a right-hander is getting loose out there. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. I think that was just supposed to be the setup pitch to come back and get him on one and two. I don't think he's going to argue, though. He'll take that three-pitch punch out. So one away for the catcher, Jeff Mathis. First pitch coming. Ball hit on the first pitch out to the shortstop, Gonzalez. Throw in time at first for route number two. Henderson Alvarez will stand in. Sacrifice fun his last time. This is hit high in the air and pretty deep down the left field line. Quinton is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Miami down in order, but they hold a 4 to nothing lead. Cody Ransom will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Ransom. Now the pitch. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And a perfect start to the seventh as this should be extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Uh, a rare mistake pitch there. That's just their second hit of the ball game, but... This will go for a double. Carlos Quinton will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. First pitch to him. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Oh, and he will score at the plate as the tag from Mathis was just a hair too late. Well, for a while there, it didn't look like they were ever going to break through, but they finally get on the board here in inning number seven. Now they've got to see if they can add on a few more and maybe make this game a little more interesting. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And striding in is the shortstop, Alex Gonzalez. Lays off 1-0. and And, oh, looked good on the monitor, but it's 2-0. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Missed with it again, and it's 3-0 now. And that 
questionable call on the previous pitch, it really changes the at-bat because he doesn't want to just lay one in there on 2-0. and Now it's 3-0, and and the tide is not working in his favor. That one's in there, 3-1. and one. And this isn't the first guy that's been frozen by that pitch tonight. He's had a lot of guys shaking their heads so far. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. It's been a great start for him to this point. Into the seventh inning of work now, and that's just the first walk he's allowed so far. So maybe not a red flag just yet, but it is something worth watching. Mark Katze will dig in, one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Infield a double play depth all around. Here's the pitch. In there for strike one. Ah, good pitch right there, right on the heels of a walk. He needed to get ahead of the next guy, and he did just that. One run on three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. And this is lifted high in the air down the line behind third. And that's a fair ball. And they are not going to get Quinton as he scores ahead of the tag. Now the Marlins skipper is up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll leave with the lead. Can't lose this one, but he is responsible for the two runners out there, so he could get a no decision if they were to come around and score. Evan Reed will come on now as he'll take over in inning number seven. Nick Hundley will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Yeah, nice to get that call right out of the bullpen. First and second here with nobody out. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Uh, you can tell he's still frustrated after that first called strike. That's still on his mind. Swing and a miss, and that's a much-needed first out there. <laughs> that's a big strike out here with that tying run still at first. And now you're basically a ground ball away from getting out of this. Logan Forsythe will dig in. He's flown out and hit into a double play in two trips. Gonzalez has his lead, now the pitch. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Boy, talk about coming to the rescue. That's two batters now and two strikeouts since coming in. You're not away from getting a big-time high five in that dugout. Cameron Mabin will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. No. 
no. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Oh. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Two down, runners at first and second. Bouncing ball back up the middle. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. And when you're coming off the bench, the rule is get on base any way you can. And the last time I checked, an infield single meets those requirements. It's not pretty, but he'll take it. Will Venable will stand in now, and if he can find a gap somewhere, he might even be able to give his team the lead. Fastball in there for a called strike. From the belt, the pitch. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Fastball called strike, one and two. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. This side is retired. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. The Marlins on top, four to two. Brad Brock will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seven. Juan Pierre will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Litter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Well, not close on either of these first two pitches. Now he's going to have to find the release point quick before he loses the leadoff guy. Take sign must have been on there because that's right down the middle. Strike one. Pulled on the ground down the line to first. And Katsi will take this one onto the bag. Three unassisted for the putout. Donovan Solano will dig in. He singled his last time around. First pitch here misses wide. 1-0. 
That's what you have to do against a big sweeping slider like that. It starts in the zone and it's probably going to finish out of the zone. So that's a good job just to lay off. And that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. Here's the pitch. On a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Full count, three and two. Here we go, Marlon, let's go. Fastball too high, ball four. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. And this is hit to Gonzalez at short. Could be two. And he won't try for more than that as he's taken out pretty hard that time. Well, this is a pretty smart decision here at second base. He's got that clock running in his head, so he knows he's about to take a shot. So at that point, why risk throwing this ball into the dugout or into the 10th row? He just absorbs the hit, and he hangs on to the baseball. Justin Ruggiano will get another crack, one for three thus far. He waits, now the pitch. Too low, 1-0. Swing and a ground ball to short for Gonzalez. On to Forsyth covering, and that ends the inning. So they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Marlins lead this one 4-2. to two. Ryan Webb is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Chris Denorfio will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Chris Denorfio. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Change up. Good pitch there. One and two.
And now pitch on the way. And this ball will be chopped foul. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Full count okay. now. Three and two. <laughs> now. Three and two with a two-run lead. It, this has to be in the strike zone. You can't work the corner here. This has to be right at it. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Uh, you know, when you're holding on to a slim lead, you just can't walk the leadoff guy. I mean, those are the ones that really come back to haunt you. So he's really going to need to work towards getting a ground ball here. A.J. Ramos is on to work as he'll take over here in the eighth. Cody Ransom will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Right there for strike one. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Now a throw over. Has to dive, but he's back. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Comes set, now the pitch. And he's fallen behind now, three and one. Fastball in there, three and two. Well, that may have been the last pitch in the at-bat that he could do something with. He's not going to get anything better than that. Here's the full count offering. And he takes something off here as this is a lazy fly ball out to center field. Ruggiano will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Eighth inning here from South Florida as you get a look at the line score to this point. The hometown Marlins leading this one as they look to send this crowd home happy. Carlos Quinton will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now a first pitch changeup here. Too far inside, it's 1-0. and oh. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And Quinton's aboard. It's a base hit. Throw comes back in quickly, so put the runners at first and second now, still with only one away. And at this point, I don't think you could expect anything less than a two-hit ball game from this guy. 
I mean, he's been as hot as anybody lately, and he comes through again here. Alex Gonzalez will step in now, 0 for 2 to this point. Now here's the first pitch. Oh, on the ground to short. Could this be two? Downs for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One left for San Diego. They trail it here four to two. Call to the bullpen now as Luke Gregerson will take over here on the mound. Lance Berkman will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. And he'll start him with a high strike here on the fastball on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Yeah. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1-1. One and one. Padres are going to get something going out in the bullpen now as a left-hander has stood up to throw. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Now the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. And he chased one there as this is bounced to short. And Gonzalez throws on to first for the out. Scott Rowland will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. First pitch coming. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. and oh. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike and it's all knotted up at 1-1. One and one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Pitch on the way. Fouled straight back. Getting late 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to first, two gone. Matt Downs will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Oh. 
Slider worked last time. Why not go to it again? 0-2. Down 0-2 after two great sliders. He's got his work cut out for him now. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. And Pase will step on first himself, and that will be that. So they go down without a whimper here. We've played eight full. It's the Marlins four and the Friars two. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Steve Ciszek is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Mark Katze will stand in needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 oh now. Now here's the pitch. And that's taken for a strike on the inside corner. Two and one. Oh, and now a swing and a drive. Deep left field, way back there, and this is going to clear the wall by plenty. It's a home run. Mark Kotze with the solo homer. Home run number five on the year as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. One rule for being a successful closer, you gotta keep the ball in the ballpark. Now, he's still got a lead to work with after this home run, but his margin for error is pretty much gone now. Nick Hundley will try again, 0 for 3 thus far. First pitch coming. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. And a sinker sinks too much there as it bounces into the catcher's glove. Very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's two and one. Now here it comes. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Uh, you don't want guys to get too comfortable up there, so that's a good idea to run something in tight. Yeah. 
in there on the inside corner. Don't know that he liked it, but it's a full count now, three and two. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. Now a big swing as this is popped up. And I mean way up there toward the right side of the infield. Brookman is there, one away. And a good job there of bouncing back after the home run. He looks to be unfazed by it. So he goes right back to business and gets the pop-up to the next guy. Everett Cabrera will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. 1 0 pitch now. Now he'll try to bunt his way on, but this is popped up. Ciszek is there, and he makes the catch for the out. John Baker will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. And that misses for ball one. Now the pitch, and that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Well, this is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count, and that alone can be beneficial to an offense. And a sinker is over that time. It's back to 2-1. and one. Now here's the pitch. Oh, right back to him on the mound. Throw to first is going to be in time to take care of him. And the Marlins come back to even up this four-game series at a game apiece as this one is over. Well, he did serve up the home run here to make this one a little bit more interesting. But in the end, he does get the job done, and he nails down the save. Tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, not the longest outing he'll ever have. He only made it six full innings, but he definitely brought his good stuff to the ballpark, and he winds up helping his guys get out of here with a victory.
So that'll about wrap things up here tonight. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the rest of our hardworking crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB 13, the show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Marlins win it 4-3. Good night from Miami.